Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are welcome to your favorite IBT Ramadan TV series. I remain Abdurrahman Idris, and with me here is Mariam Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So, we are about to get into the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan, and people are already making plans and preparations now. And for those who, um, you know, will be planning to perform itikaf, you know, we advise you to please, as much as possible, try to follow the rules. You know, for those, you know, observing itikaf, some might not be able to perform the full itikaf in court. Mm -hmm. Maybe some will be going to work from there, mm -hmm. some will have other things to do from there. But if you're the type that want to stay there fully, that plan to stay there fully, please try to follow the rules and regulations. So at the end of the day, it doesn't seem like you've, you know, stayed there for, you know, 10 to 9 days and you still might not get, you know, as much as you're expecting to get out of it. So please try to follow the rules and regulation. All what we're trying to do, you know, is to seek the pleasure of Almighty Allah. We know the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan, there's a whole lot, blessings a whole lot of blessings and we're trying to take advantage, you know. So please, if you're part of those that will be performing it, try as much as possible to follow the rules and regulation. May Almighty Allah make it easy for you and for every one of us all in me. We are also using this uh, means to make an appeal on behalf of Adibayo Adikola. What do you have to say to our audience regarding Adibayo Adikola? Yes, we've been seeing your donations mm. and we really appreciate it. Jazakumullah Karen. But we still need to hit the target. We still need to hit 5 million naira to save Adibayo's life. And I know that we can do it. Together, we can do it. So please, the account details is displayed on oh, your yeah. screen. So please do well, donate. This is the last 10 days of Ramadan, just like Abdurrahman has said. So make use of this opportunity, optimize it and donate for Allah's cause. May Allah bless us as we do. Amen. So we're making plans. After the last 10 days of Ramadan, after the rigorous, you know, striving to ensure mighty Allah forgives us and he will, inshallah, you know, and that's why he has also given us a day after the whole hustling for all the barakas that he will give us, inshallah. And that's the day of Eid, and we've made plans for you. So there you can come, let loose and have fun the halal way, huh? on the day of Eid and on the day after, after Eid. Eid. Two different locations in Lagos, two venues, two, two, days. two days, yes. So we'll be having at Leki and at Korodu. So the ticket sales will be announced shortly. But what we just wanted to know is that we're not going to have as many tickets as we used to because of coronavirus. So we have limited space. So as soon as the tickets get up, fastest fingers first. So please, don't slack. Huh? So in case you're not in Lagos, you're far away from Lagos, or you are not able to get the ticket because it's limited, you don't have to worry. You can join us online for the whole form fair and you will not miss a thing, not a single part of the program. Yeah. So let's get started with our program of the day, and that is the recitation of the Holy Quran by Ustad Ubaidullah Muhammad Isa. And this is sponsored by Fat Games Petroleum in honor of Al Haji Abdul Fatah Bibi Sola. May Almighty Allah grant him Al Jannatul Firdaus. From there is the Mufti Mank Lecture Series titled Verses of Hope and Healing. May Almighty Allah enable us to find hope and healing from these verses Amen. and inspiration, Amen. inshallah. And right after that will be Eye Fitness, where we we'll bring to you different ways in which you can improve your health and stay fit. Stay with us, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back, inshallah. الشيطان الرجيم ولقد سبقت كلمتنا لعبادنا المرسلين إنهم لهم المنصورون وإن جندنا لهم الغالبون فتول عنهم حتى حين وأبصرهم فسوف يبصرون أفبعذابنا يستعجلون 
فَإِذَا نَزَلَ بِسَاحَتِهِمْ فَسَاءَ صَبَاحُ الْمُنْذَرِينَ وَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ حَتَّى حِينٍ وَأَبْصِرْ فَسَوْفَ يُبْصِرُونَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يَصِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ والحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. My beloved brothers and sisters, one of the gifts of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us that gives us great hope in his mercy is that when we cannot do something, he actually allows us uh, to either not to do it or to do it in a smaller way. For example, if you're on a journey, uh, there is a certain type of prayer that you would fulfill rather than the complete number of units, you would cut down the number of units or raka'at for most of the prayers. So for example, the prayer that has four units would actually be discounted and it would become a prayer of Two units, subhanAllah, because of the journey, because of the difficulty and the hardship. The same applies if a person were sick or ill and they were unable to pray standing, they may do so sitting. And if they cannot do so sitting, they may do so lying down. Imagine if this was not the case and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not allow that. The same would apply, for example, to those who are fasting if you're unable to fast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَمَن كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ Those who are ill or on a journey can make up the fast they've missed because of the illness or the journey later on, on other days. Now, imagine if that was not permissible and if it was just the rule that you have to do it and there's no way out or you would be punished. So Allah has given us a lot of hope and he allows us uh, this leeway whenever we need it. This is something amazing. Similarly, when it comes to uh, the battlefield, prayer is something you have to fulfill. So if you cannot do it standing, you do it sitting. If you cannot do it in this way, you can do it the other way. You need to learn about it, but you don't miss your prayer. Sometimes if you're on a conveyance and you happen to be flying, for example, you happen to be on this vehicle, for example, and there is no way that you can actually stop in order to fulfill that prayer, then you may do so on that conveyance. You may fulfill your prayers on the aircraft. So this is something also a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where there is a certain element of flexibility. That gives me a lot of hope because I know I can fulfill it. If I cannot use water, for example, I'm allowed to do tayammum, which means I can actually use dust just to wipe over certain parts of my body. And that's it. I'm considered pure enough to be able to pray, to be able to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, considering myself pure, even though there was no water. Or if you're ill and you cannot use the water due to your illness, no problem, you don't need to use the water. You can actually do the tayammum because of sickness, even though the water is available. So these are rules and regulations that show and depict the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. During war, as I just said, the prayer is not waived, but 
there is a different type of a prayer because you might have an enemy coming from a certain direction. You might be fearing that the enemy is going to come from another direction. If everyone is going to be praying at the same time, imagine we're all in prostration and the enemy is waiting for that because the enemy would want to swipe at us at that particular time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the gift of what is known as Salatul Khawf, the prayer when you're actually in fear, fear of the enemy attacking you and so on. And in verse number 101 of Surah Ala Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually teaches us the detail of that type of prayer known as Salatul Khawf, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is how you should stand. A group should go to prostrate while the other is standing. And then when they come up, this group should go to prostrate so that the enemy knows that these people are not oblivious. They're actually watching. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us from the pillars of Islam how he allows compromise when it is needed or necessary. Now, something that also comes to my mind is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us uh, to make use of these discounts that he has given us. So, in Allah yuhibbu an tu'ta rukhasahu. Allah loves it when you make use of uh, the facility that he has given you subhanallah when Allah has made things easy make use of it and thank him so at times we may even join our prayers and subhanallah the type of joining differs depending on the prayer it is and the school of thought that is followed but there is in principle an agreement that you may join your prayers under certain circumstances in fact some of the scholars go as far as saying even if the weather conditions are not favorable you may join some of your prayers bring them together so you couldn't make them all together for a valid reason that is considered valid in Islam therefore you join the prayers I remember visiting one of the Middle Eastern countries and it was raining and they fulfilled Salat al-Dhuhr and immediately after that Salat al-Asr and I was thinking to myself but we have umbrellas we have, um, you know, facility, we have vehicles, we could come back to the masjid. So I spoke to the imam and I told him, yes, it is perhaps raining, but it's not that bad. He reminded me, we are fulfilling a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Immediately I remained silent and I said, subhanallah, uh, it reminded me of, inna allaha yuhibbu an tu'ta rukhasahu. Allah loves it when you make use of some of these facilities that he has given. Obviously, it's important for you to learn uh, from the scholars around you what the exact rulings are and some of the schools of thought have a slight difference of opinion in some of these things it's good to know that but uh, the point I'm raising is here that of hope Allah grants us the hope and in fact if you're ill Allah gives you time to heal as well if you're on a journey Allah gives you that hope Allah gives you you know that extra rope to tell you no problem you can make use of this that's the gift of Allah so it's important for us to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the discounts in our acts of worship at, at certain times amazing amazing gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then in verse number 128 of surah ala imran Allah repeats the issue of the importance of trying to resolve the matters trying to resolve the matters between husband and wife and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says was sulhu khair Allah loves it when you actually resolve matters because resolving matters is better and if something is better it is more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when you have marital discord dispute Try to resolve the matter. Look at your spouse as a human, as someone's child, as a person. Uh, respect them. Understand they are only human just like you are. They may falter. They may uh, do things that you may not like. But Allah says sometimes you don't like certain things. And you know what? Allah keeps a lot of goodness in some of those things. That's also in Surah Ala Imran. Similarly, a verse of a great hope for those who are divorced is as follows. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again in Surah Ala Imran, If the two of you actually separate, if you actually end up in divorce after having tried everything, Allah says, Allah will provide for both parties from his favor. From his virtue, Allah will give both parties. It's not like that's it, I'm divorced, no one's going to marry me. 
Who knows? Someone much better would be interested in marrying you. You need to make an effort and have hope. Continue not only to pray, but to try. And don't give up. It doesn't mean your life is, has come to an end because you went through divorce once, twice, thrice, four times, whatever it may be. So, my beloved brothers and sisters, let's remember when Allah promises that if you've tried your best to make things work and it really didn't work and you felt you were going to trample on each other's rights and you weren't going to be fair to each other and you ended up divorcing in the name of Allah with goodness. Divorcing with goodness means your tongues were clean, you didn't backbite and slander, you didn't speak ill of your spouse, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah will grant each one of them that independence and bless them with not only spouses but with sustenance as well. So take it in your stride, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask Allah for guidance and remember that Allah Almighty is watching and Allah knows and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees your, your heart and feels your pain, meaning he knows the, what pain you're going through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us hope. That is Allah telling you, don't worry, don't despair. You will have a better spouse very, very soon. Continue trying and inshallah, a day will come when the doors will open so wide that you'll be smiling, forgetting the pain of the past. Ameen. May Allah bless every one of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamda wa al-ni'mata Introducing Yala, a new digital platform that offers easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala, Hajj and Umrah, the easy way. In the midst of cacophony of private and public schools, very few meet the desired needs of discerning Muslim parents in the areas of education, morals, and spirituality. Atanzil Schools believes that education is total and an all-round development of the brain, body, mind, and soul, and we have uniquely blended Islamic and secular learning with uncommon mastery. Atanzil Schools is full boarding with superb academic, human, and caregiving resources. Parents who experience Atanzil Schools have attested to the versatility of our pupils, the dedication of our staff, and the meticulousness of our management. We have held numerous awards in both Quranic and secular competitions. The standard is world class. The fees are pocket friendly. Come on, let's nurture the children that will comfort your eyes and give you sakina in your old age. At Tanzil Schools is located in Valley View Estate after Waik Office in Bitaik Bubui Kurudu, Lagos. Admission is on. Call now 0810-589-1274. Email info at atanzilschools.com. At Tanzil Schools, nurturing tomorrow's leaders. My name is Bafia Majid Balugu, and as always, I welcome you to the Health and Wellness on iBeauty, brought to you by Yoyo Beaters. Now, as you already know, this is that segment where we talk about health, healthy lifestyle, healthy food, and everything you can do to improve on your health, keep you fit, and stay in shape. Now, firstly, I'll be sharing with you one health tip, and that is, of course, as always, to keep you informed about what you can do differently to live a very good and productive, healthy lifestyle. Secondly, we'll be having a session by our fitness expert, Ali, who will come share with us exercise routines we can do to keep fit, stay in shape, and have a good, I don't know, just a good body for this Ramadan period. Lastly, I'll be asking you one health question, and that is for you to win prizes, courtesy to your beaters. First, please let's join Ali for today's exercise routine. Don't go anywhere. <music> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to fitness segment on IBT TV show. I remain your host, Ali Olympio. On today's episode, we're going to be pra uh, practicalizing push-ups. So push-ups, but specific one, narrow push-up. It's not wide, but narrow. Very close to your body. So you go all the way down, right? Get your balance right. Good. Tilt your body up and you go 
down and up down and up while you're executing it uh, we're going to be eating the pectoralis major the triceps and a bit of the biceps so it's like a three-in-one workout program so you go down again good 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 that's it for push-ups today i'll see you same time tomorrow inshallah ma salam Welcome back viewers. Of course, if you're just tuned in, this is still the health and wellness segment on IBT brought to you by Yoyo -Yo Beaters. Now, my health tip for today is for you to please avoid bright lights before sleep. When you're exposed to bright lights in the evening, it may disrupt your production of the sleep hormone, which we know as melatonin. Now, one thing you can do is to get a pair of amber tinted glasses, and this basically helps you block blue light from entering your eyes in the evening. This also allows melatonin to be produced as if it were completely dark. And this would of course help you sleep better at night. So basically, if you know that you're one who is easily um, disturbed by the rays of sunlight in the evening, you can please get tinted glasses, something like this. And of course, it will help you sleep better at night. And now my question for today is what area of the body has the smallest bone in the entire human system? Now, of course, as you already know, you can send your answers to the numbers showing on your screen via WhatsApp and all winners will announce on all our social media platforms. Now, this is, of course, an opportunity for you to win a surprise lucky gift courtesy to your beta. So do not answer that question and send in your answers. Don't worry, we'll receive them, review them, and if they are correct, we'll just give you a surprise gift. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, but that's how far we can go on today's segment of Health and Wellness and Eye Beauty brought to you by Yo-Yo Beaters. Now, of course, you already know that you can take a regular dose of Yo-Yo Beaters to stay clean, stay healthy, stay purified, and basically feel refreshed all day long. So, like, come your way next time. I'm still your girl, Rafia Majid Baloudou, saying Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. Wa Hey, is your body yo yo bitters compliant? What does that mean, you wonder? Well, it means do you take yo yo bitters every day? Yo yo bitters protects you against opportunistic infections. This means you either take yo yo bitters as food supplement or as medicine recommended by your doctor. Yo yo bitters is naturally enriched with ingredients that flushes out the body impurities, tackles waste pain, and resolves constipation. It is also fortified with vitamins that empower your body to perform at its optimum. Besides, yo yo bitters contain minerals and it boosts your body the immunity against diseases and free radicals. That's why Yo Yo Bitters is such a great companion to have around the home, office, and everywhere. Available in liquid, gel, and tablets. Get yours today from the nearest pharmacy or medicine store. Yo Yo Bitters, a clean inside out. You're welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed our previous segment. Where well, there's a whole lot more for you in this episode. As we are approaching the last 10 days of Ramadan, do not forget the recommended prayer of our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's try as much as possible to say this very, very often this last 10 days of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us our past sins Amen. and make us righteous Muslims. Amen. So we move on with matters of faith where we get clarifications regarding issues on Islam and our in-house scholar gets to make some clarifications from evidence in the Quran and the Hadith. Right after that will be Light Upon Light where we get some lovely admonitions and inspiration from our mother al Haja Ghaniat Akoridi. Right after that will be I Business 5.0 Tag Shepherd's Cave. This time around we're bringing to you alternative financing from Sterling Bank. Bank, where you get to learn and enlighten yourself about various ways to obtain a lot of funding for your various um, use. Your business, you want to get a house, anything at all, you can get them on Sterling Alternative Finance. Don't go nowhere, we'll be right back. <music> Now, the responsibility of man is just to pay bills. The purpose of man here on earth is to come and fulfill the good works the Lord has done. 
to come and enjoy the beautification that the Lord has done here on it. It's to make impact now, you know, to do things in the world positively, not actually negative, Sha. The purpose of being a comment on the earth is just to serve God, fulfill God's purpose. From a logical or more practical point of view, I think the purpose of man is to make it a better place than they met it. If by the time you were on earth, people would walk 10 miles to say, see water to drink, why not reduce that stress to say 5 miles? For me, you fulfill purpose. To love one another, to bring not even the Christian, not even the Muslim, not the tradition, but everyone to be able to make heaven. The purpose of life is presented in the Quran and in the Sunnah in many different ways. In one place it is presented as for the purpose of ibadah, to serve God. When you look at, of course, what that serving God and worshipping God means, you find it's actually about serving yourself and serving humanity and serving other creatures. And so sometimes it is uh, presented as we are here to have faith, to enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong. In other places it is presented as being a Khalifa, that we are sent as representatives of God, vicegerents, ambassadors of God to enjoin right, forbid wrong, and make this world a better place within our limited capacities, but to the best of our abilities. Uh, another time it is presented as a way of being at peace with the Creator and with creation. Uh, in another place it is presented as be better and do better. In other words, be a better human being, grow, but also contribute. Uh, in another place it is presented as one where you try to ensure that God's guidance guides your life and guides as much as you have influence over. Of course, no compulsion in religion, uh, but you have to be persuasive in helping others appreciate God's guidance and in following it. Uh, in other places, it is presented as knowing God better and being more godly. In other words, you know your creator better, you understand what his prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has taught, and how can you get closer to God through the methodology left by God. This methodology, this way of life is called the Sharia, God's way of life, uh, which is sometimes synonymous to the word Islam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Light Upon Light الحمد لله رب العالمين We are so grateful to Almighty Allah for sparing our lives to witness yet another beautiful day and night in the month of Ramadan Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Today we're looking at another ayah of the Quran where Allah addresses us, those of us that believe in him, that believe in his angels, in his prophets, in his holy books, in the day of Qiyamah, and in the his decree, you know, fate and destiny, the good and the bad of it. Those of us that have the articles of faith, and I pray that I belong to that group, and I pray that you belong to that group. So what is Allah saying to us today? Let us listen to an ayah or two ayahs, a couple of ayahs from Surah Al-Anfal, Quran chapter 8, verses 24 and 25. And it's going to be recited to us by Fadilatul Sheikh al Hudayfi. Uh, may Almighty Allah be pleased with him eternally. Amen. Fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu stajibu lillahi wa lil-rasooli idha da'akum lima yuhyikum wa'lamu anna Allah yahulu bayna al-mar'i wa qalbihi wa annahu ilayhi tuhsharu واتقوا فتنة لا تصيبن الذين ظلموا منكم خاصة واعلموا
له أن الله شديد العقاب صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغ رسوله الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين Very powerful ayah from Allah, very powerful message from Allah Azza wa Jalla. What does these two verses mean? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, O you who believe, respond, answer, obey Allah, answer to the call of Allah and the call of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he calls you to that which gives you life to that which helps you to survive in this world and in the hereafter. And know that Allah intervenes between a man and his heart and that to him you will be gathered. And fear a trial which will not strike those who have wronged amongst you exclusively. And know that Allah is severe in penalty. What's, what is Allah saying to us here? Allah says, oh, you who believe, if you believe you have faith in Allah, you believe you're going to meet him one day, you believe that this book is sent to you with love and care from the one that created you, then listen. When Allah calls you, respond to the call of Allah. When Allah asks you to do something, make sure you go out of your way to do it, even if it proves to be a little difficult. But Allah has made us to know that nothing he asks us to do is beyond our capacity. And when the Prophet wasallam calls you to that which gives you life, eternal life, life in this world, I mean, I'm talking about real life. You know, I'm not talking about life that is wasted on you know, earthly stuff, mundane things, you know, things that will not benefit you in any way. When the Prophet ﷺ calls you to that which gives you life, life of this world and life of the hereafter, obey him, answer his call, follow him, and know that Allah goes between a man and his heart. Allah is, is there. He knows what is going on in our heart and that to him we will be gathered. You know, because Allah is there, he puts on the light for us to live, and he can switch it off any time. The appointed time is up. He switches off. He has the control of, uh, of the switch of our life. So the more reason why we need to obey him, because he can tell us to drop dead right now, and we have no choice but to drop dead. That At least that part of us is a Muslim. A Muslim is the one that submits to the will of Allah. So when he switches off the light, you have no choice but to obey him. And then he says, this is where it gets very serious. He said, and fear a trial which will not come to those wrongdoers alone. Be, be afraid of that punishment that will come. Well, let's, let us not call it a punishment. A trial that will come and will not be meted out onto those who have who are the wrongdoers alone. The innocent one will, will feel it too, will, will suffer it, and know that Allah is severe in punishment. You know, when people around us are doing what is wrong, and we're not calling their attention to it, we're not doing our job as Muslims, because Allah says we are the best of mankind ever evolved for any nation, you encourage what is right and you forbid what is wrong and you believe in Allah. If we feel in our duty to do that, then we could suffer with the wrongdoers. May Allah protect us from that. Yeah, Allah, please look upon us with mercy and forgive us of all our sins and make it easy for us to submit to your will. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadun la ilaha ila anta. ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته مع السلامة إلى اللقاء
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very big thank you to you. Yes, you and my other amazing viewers who have joined me so far on this edition of iBusiness, brought to you as always by Selling Alternative Finance and supported by Fearless Energy Drinks. Now, I'm of course your host, Rafia Mojid Balugu, saying welcome. Usually on this segment, we showcase one of our nine finalist entrepreneurs who come into the cave to pitch their ideas to our shepherds. However, today's session will take a whole new turn as we'll be joined by our Islamic expert, Hassan Uthman from Sterling Alternative Finance, who will of course come share with us about the unique products and services that they offer. Now, certainly you have learned a whole lot from them because they've of course spoken to you about convenient banking system, which offers zero interest rates, all small, and of course a whole lot of other amazing products. But guess what? They have a whole lot more in stock for you. And that is what our expert Hassan Uthman will come share with us today. And this is that session you do not want to miss. Please stay with me. There are really no hidden charges or no hidden interest on any of our products or services, but we do, however, charge a slight markup. And this markup is essentially to keep us in business and allow us to provide the best possible services. So take for I'll give you a very simple example. If you went on Altmore, you know, the Altmore website, altmore.ng, and you saw a you saw a mobile phone, maybe it might cost maybe 230000 on the Altmore platform. But if you went somewhere else, maybe to a physical store, it might cost 210000 Essentially, you're paying more for the convenience of being able to spread your payment across a long period of time. So it's not necessarily because we're trying to make more money from you. No, it's just this markup is what keeps us in business. So yeah, generally there no, there's no hidden charge. It's just the markup that is on our products. We're very, all our services, all our products, we, are, we ensure that we're very transparent in them. So our message to Nigerians would be that we truly understand the plight of Nigerians. And that's why this brand has been formed. We understand how tough the society is. We understand how cash driven the society is. So we've We've developed this brand to make the lives of Nigerians more convenient. And the banks, we have a large you know, part of the blame to bear because all we've done from all we've done to Nigeria is essentially just take, take, take. You know, Nigerians wake up and all they think when they think about their banks is debit, credit, loans. You know, so Nigerians, if all you think, if all, if the only thing that comes to your mind when you think about your bank is just charges and charges, then it's time for an alternative bank. Welcome back. Sadly, that's how far we can go on today's edition, but I'm certain you have had a good time, you learned something new, and you will head straight to the bank later in the day to open that account with Sterling Alternative Finance. Do make sure you have a safe and a fulfilling day. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Cash for gadgets, store, top deals, iPhones, iPads, iMacs, MacBooks, headphones, speakers, games, Accessories. Hey guys, are you a vendor or do you know anyone that sells fashion items, electronics, mobile phone and many more? Altmore gives you access to a wide range of customers across the country. Are you in Lagos, Abuja or Port Harcourt? This platform is actually for you. Guess what? The customer gets to pay us in installment while we would pay you the vendor in full. Sounds amazing, right? Click on the link below today to get started.
you are welcome back. So right about now, we move on with IQs. As you already know, after IQs, we'll be having the eye twister, the tongue twister segment, where we go into the streets, you know, sell some Arabic words, and let's see how fast people say them five times. After tongue twister, what are we having? All right, after that, we'll be having eye trends, where we'll present to you, in case you missed it, Style Fusion and Ops and Gadget Review. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right here waiting for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's your favorite Abdul Karim. Now, the question of today is name the days of the week in Arabic. So, if you can get this answer, or you sitting right behind the couch, you can get that answer. Please eat the street and let's go and get it jiggy. Yawmul Ahad, Sunday. Yawmul Ithnain, Monday. Yawmul Thlatha, Tuesday. Yamul Arba, Wednesday, Yamul Khamis, Thursday, Yamul Juma, Friday, Yamul Saturday. Did you get all this off on Google? <laughs> At Sunday, Yamul Ithnain, Monday, Yamul Filatha, Tuesday, Yamul Arba, Wednesday, Yamul Khams, Thursday, Yamul Juma, Friday, and Yamul Sabt, Saturday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Done very, very, very well. Alhamdulillah. Okay. It's me, Thalasa, Arba, Kamis, Juma, Sabt. Uh, yes, that's that's all of them. Yes, I had, um, I can't remember one. It was Thalasa, Arba, Kamis, Juma, Sabt. Okay, one is, one is missing. Yes, yeah, that's it. I can't remember one. Okay. It, I, I think it's... Okay, Juma is Friday. Yes, Saturday, Sabt. Saturday is what? Sabt. Sabt. Okay. Uh, Thursday is Kamis. Sunday is Kamis. Wednesday is Aruba. There's Thalassa. That's Tuesday. Okay. Monday Monday and Sunday? Uh, one of them is Hahad. I think Sunday is Hahad. I can't remember what Monday is. Okay. At the moment. I can't remember. Can you try? Can you try? Okay. Can you call a friend? <laughs> no, I can't. You can't call a friend. You don't have a friend that can probably give you an hint of what Sunday is. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm sorry. Ah, no, 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 no. Try, give it a try. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. Start, you should start from somewhere, you know. I, I know. I know. Juma is Friday. You but, know. You know. Juma is Friday. But like the rest, no, no, no. No, come, come closer. Come closer. It's no, like no, you're, no, you're no. trying to run away from the camera right now. No, I'm not trying. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I don't. I don't remember. So last, uh, <laughs> I, I know. I rise Wednesday. Ali Hamid is a uh, Thursday. Yam Juma is on Friday. Yam Sabt is on Saturday. Okay, here's the package for you. No. Cut sale rights for Nigeria Limited Police. Biggie drinks, Biggie sausages. Fearless in the drink. I should go on. This is my account to Right Foods for sponsoring this program. May Allah continue to bless them. Here is a gift for you. 10,000 a gift from Senator Baru Olubenga Shafa in loving memory of his mother and great grandmother, the Lemaras. So, we are giving you this, and he is giving you this to encourage our Muslim faithfuls who are fighting. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's another wonderful edition of Arabic Tongue Twist on IBUT TV right here on the street. And I have with me this lovely sister that she's going to take up my Arabic Tongue Twister challenge. So I'll be telling you this Arabic word and I want you to say it as fast as you can five times. It's actually a couple of Arabic words and I want you to say them as fast as you can five times. Stop five times. Five times, yes. Very simple. 
Are you ready? Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. I like that. Bismillah. Bismillah. Shamam to her be anafi. Shamam to her be anafi. Shamam to her be anafi. Shamam to afi 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 anafi. There's an anafi that has been disturbing you, Avi. Don't worry. When we are done, we will show him. Anafi. Why? Shamam to have you enough. 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 You like Ascar very well, I can see the Allah Akbar. I like a fella. Shaman Tawabi wa Abi Anofsi. Hey! Like Tawaf Abi at Makkah. Hmm. <laughs> well, you're getting there, ma. Shaman to her be Anofsi. Okay, Shaman Tawa be Anofsi. Shaman Tawa be Anofsi. Shaman Tawa be Anofsi. Shaman Tawa be Anofsi. Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi. I take where? Allah. Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi, Shamam to Abi Anafi. That's even better than the way I pronounced it. Imagine. Monsoon Food Company, makers of delicious milk biscuit, caramel biscuit. This is from them too. Sepo Sebi, Jazakum Lahan. Jazakum Khair. Thank you very much. Welcome. My name is Hamid Adebanjo and I welcome you to yet another episode of iTrends. On iTrends, of course, we share with you a recap of news around the Muslim world that you might have missed on in case you missed it. And then we move on to sharing with you fashion, health, beauty, lifestyle influencers and service providers on Instagram that you might need on Style Fusion. And then we move on to sharing with you latest technological innovations around the Muslim world on Apps and Gadgets Review. This is in case you missed it. On today's episode, Mesut Ozil feeds 4,550 orphans in Turkey, Indonesia, Bangladesh. Mesut Ozil has further extended his generosity during the blessed month of Ramadan after donating a princely sum of $120,000 to help Muslims in Indonesia, Bangladesh and Turkey. Ozil, who plays as an attacking midfielder for Turkish Super League club Fenerbahce, posted on his Twitter handle on Wednesday that the funds will be used to provide 4,550 food packages for children in orphanages. It will be recalled that Ozil, who emerged Global Muslim Celebrity Person of the Year 2020, donated £80,000 to help Muslims affected by the coronavirus pandemic during last year's Ramadan. At the ongoing Ramadan fast, Ozil has also assisted the poor kids in Idlib, Syria. That will be all on this episode of In Case You Missed It. Coming up next is Style Fusion. This is Style Fusion, and on Style Fusion, we share with you fashion, health, beauty, and lifestyle influencers and service providers on Instagram that you might need. On today's episode, we'll be talking about abayas. Abayas from Abaya, Niger, are actually secondhand okrika, and they come at affordable prices. For those sisters who always admire abayas on the internet, but when they check the price, it's usually worth breaking a bank for. At Abaya Niger, you have beautiful designs of abayas that come at affordable prices. Check out abaya underscore Ninja on Instagram for all your beautiful abayas at affordable prices. That will be all on this episode of Style Fusion. Coming up next is Apps and Gadgets Review. <music> This 
is Absent Gadgets Review. And on Absent Gadgets Review, we share with you latest technological innovations around the Muslim world. Our today's app is the Zabia. Zabia is an Arabic word that refers to Islamic ritual slaughter of animals for meat. This method involves the name of God or in the name of God being said aloud by the butcher before slaughtering an animal and then using a sharp knife on the throat of the animal in a swift dip incision to ensure minimum pain. An app of the same name has been developed by the founders of Zabia.com, the world's most comprehensive halal restaurant online database that has information on and reviews of halal food and restaurants worldwide. This app finds all halal food options and reviews by other users within an 80 kilometer radius. Over 2,500 halal restaurants around the world are listed on Zavia. That'll be all on this episode of Apps and Gadgets Review. Join us again tomorrow, inshallah. I am Adiban Jahamida. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I just discovered that altmall.ng has the personalized shopping feature on the website. That means if you are looking for something and you cannot find it, all you need to do is fill the form and a team will get back to you. Take five. Hey baby, how are you? Are you guys done? No, we're not done. I'm tired. I can't wait to... Wait, have you linked your NIN to your MTN line? I've told you to do this thing. You are stalling on it. Give me a fake boss story. See, babe, I don't know how to do it. Linking your NIN to your MTN line is as simple as saying MTN. Just dial star 785 star your NIN and hash. It's so simple. Staying connected to family, friends, and colleagues has never been easier. Link your NIN to your MTN line now. Babes, I've done it. It was so easy, like Welcome back from that fun and interesting segment. Before we move on, we would like to still remind you of our appeal to save the life of young Adibayo Adikola. He needs 5 million naira to complete his surgery and we're still so very far away from it. Regardless, we'd like to say Bijizakumau Hiran to those that have donated so far. May Almighty Allah enrich you. And for those attempting to, those who want to, or those who have been sending prayers, may Almighty Allah bless you immensely as well. So, and let's not forget about the fun fair for this year. It promises to be fun and amazing. It's going down two days, two locations in Lekki Fun Factory, as usual, and the Korodu this time, Fun Park. So, hurry up, get your tickets, and do not miss out. And for those that are far away from Lagos, I cannot assess the fun fair physically. You don't need to worry, you can get us online and you will not miss a thing. And that brings us to the end of the program. As usual, we will be leaving you with I Rhymes, Islamic Rhythm and Melodies. And in case you're just joining this program, you know, you missed out on a whole lot. Or you've been missing out on our programs and you really want to know how do I catch up with them. Do not worry because we have our programs for you online on YouTube at IBT Islam. We also premiere an episode of this program the following day for Sahul Kitchen, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. For iBeauty, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
Right now, we would like to thank our audience, our supporters, and our sponsors for making all of this happen. We say a big Jazakumullah to, to you. you. May Allah reward you, bless you, guide you, and accept our dua this only month of Ramadan. Amen. See we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh